Hello everyone. In this lab, we have two mandatory tasks, task one and task two. The third task is optional. For the first task, the file copying with the photo rack. So we will cover files from the corrupted disks, images. Then compare the carved result with the original result. Using the tool melt and we bin diff, these two software are compared for comparison. The second task, information extraction with block extractor. Right now let's uh, do these uh, tasks one by one. First download and install these three software. Based on your operating system, choose the correct version. Here, this is a test disk. Should I download this one? The Windows uh, 64 bit, so we need to download this uh, test disk. Windows 64 bit, and right click save link as. I would like to create a folder called lab 11. Save all these uh, downloads. This uh, layout here, choose uh, Windows, and you can see it didn't say that was six, 64 bit or 32 bit. Just download this one. Save link as. And the last one, uh, we've been diff on the Windows and download this. Uh, Exe and source support Windows tab. Okay, now I have downloaded all these files. In this folder, you can top click and install this melt. I think I already installed it. So you can see my mail is installed. When I run it, it will show up like this. You can compare directories, compare files. And for this uh, test disk, you can track here. Let's open our okay, it says file not found. So don't know that some problem happened. Here, this one I open okay. Is it within diff? You can see uh, the execute file is here. So we need to uh, extract here. Extra to this folder, so it will contain all the files under this folder. So this program we are used to compile files. We believe is used for compare binary files. That melt is used for compare text files and folders. Now, is, you, when you check this one, nine, nine kilo. Right, so it's not right. Let's delete this one and uh, try to download it again. For the Windows 64 bit, just click it, and now you you see uh, it's it's downloading, and you can see I uh, what it downloaded before. I would like to cancel it and find my uh, previous download and this download folder. That uh, test disks here. This is a test disk. 
I would like to control X. Control V paste here. So you can check the documentation by yourself. Here I would like to show you this uh, flat drive photo work win. There's a command line version you can use to uh, recover corrupted disks. Recover files from corrupted disks. And they, they also has a GUI version. Here you can see this is a GUI version. I use this a GUI version. The next step, download these uh, images. Here you can open this. On the website, we are going to recover images from the first two images here, L0 and L1 graphic.dt. First one non fragmented graphic files, the second one with sequentially fragmented files. From this list, the coving becomes more and more difficult. So I saved under my left 11. And how to uh, call them? You may follow this same class project for the rack. But this project is done. It's done under Windows. You can see you may use the command line or use the GUI as a result. So you can follow this one quite easily. Here, I would like to use um, the GUI version to recover or to call those images. Select a media to recover from. So the media is a raw disk. And uh, here those two images, they are archived. So we need to extract them. I open archive to have a look. Yeah, that, that's it. So we may like to create a folder called images. I don't confuse this disk image with the, the picture image. We can extract here. And the second one, extract here. Right now we have two raw images, L0 graphic.dd and L1 graphic.dd. So in my kill photo rack, Let's uh, call the L0 first. The file system type, just like the check by itself. Here we uh, select a destination. Destination, let's call it this one is uh, L0 recovered. Select folder. Now we use uh, this. Uh, Search for the file format. You may we can choose all these formats. Actually, you may check here. Just choose those images. 
Yeah, I'll just choose this uh, file type. Here I would like to choose use this default stuff. The documents, archives, images, movies, audios, and so on. Okay, now let's uh, use uh, search. Here you see so many files, six uh, images are recovered, six files found, and saved uh, in our destination folder. Here you see the uh, images. Now let's uh, try the next one. We need to quit and uh, recall the next image. L1 graphic.bd and the target folder. Let's create a new folder, create L1. And I search it. Again, six images are recovered. Okay, now let's uh, create this uh, photo graphic. Check our result. So here you can see the images. Now, how do we know they are recovered successfully or not? The best way is to compare with the original images here, the original files. For the graphic, these are the graphics. Let's see, we have uh, seven graphics here. So let's uh, save them to a folder called uh, original. But here we only recovered six images. We create a folder called original. Then save these images under that original. You know, these file names they are different from those carved files because a file carving is based on the content of the file. And those are file name, they are saved in meta. And for corrupted disks in this area, the metadata are supposed uh, corrupted. Okay, here we have uh, seven images. But here we only covered six images. This L0 and for that L1 again we only covered six images. Now let's see which one is missing. When you check this, uh, this one, these images, this, this name, 
They are different from these names. They are just assigned by the software. Uh, let's check which uh, one is not recovered. Yeah, open a new uh, window. Okay, we can see this JPEG file is not recovered, this one. And all others are recovered. We cannot uh, tell any difference with our naked eyes. So the good way we will use a ribbon diff to compare these corresponding files to see whether they are exactly the same. How do we do that? We've been diff is a command line tool, so we need to run the command line. Press shift key, right click here, open a PowerShell window. We go to that we've been diff. Bin diff. CD into a ribbon diff. Then we can run this uh, bin diff.exe file. We want to compare recover the image images arrow zero recover let's compare this one with uh, with this one Images original one hundred zero one S three. When you compare them, you see there is uh, no difference. You can press enter to find the next difference. Here, we didn't see any uh, difference. If there is difference, it will be highlighted. Here yeah, we see there is no difference. You can use this method to compare all other files to see whether they are completely, completely uh, recovered. Okay, this is the task. Then you can create a table to summarize the current result and explain the result. So it looks like uh, it's quite easy to recover when you try other files. Like the non sequentially fragmented archive files, archive files with missing fragments. For example, with the means missing fragments, then they cannot be completely recovered. The next task, information extraction with bulk extractor. 
download this uh, Zulu OpenJDK 8 or 11 and this bulk extractor. I want to download all of them and install. There, I would like to show you which one you need to download and install. Here, based on your host system, you need to determine which one you want to download. You have to download the JDK. Download Zulu. Then you need to uh, select the version. It's okay to use Java 8 or Java 11. Operating system, the Windows, so you need to based on your operating system to choose the correct version. Yes, 64 bit. Then you download and install this one. You download this MSI and install it. During the inst installation procedure, please add it to your path here and check the environment. Uh, What was to make sure here the Java home is set like this? The next one is this uh, path. You need to contain this Zulu uh, HGRE bin. So please set up these two uh, environment variables Java home and that path add uh, this one to this list. Then you can run this uh, Java 8 from anywhere on your system. Here, for example, you want to run Java from here. Help. Then you see uh, the output of your Java. So lots of output here. This is Java. I would like to check the version. Java dash dash version. I see my version is 11, not 8. Why is that? Because the environment available pass inside that pass this uh, Java 11 is in front of that uh, JDK 8 here you can check this one the pass you can see my JDK 11 is in front of the JDK 8 so if I move up on this time JDK 8 the job from JDK 8 will be used. Oh, I need to close this one to load the environment one again. Press shift and right click. I type Java version. This is unrecognized option. Okay, let's uh, it looks like this uh, Java 8 does not recognize this option. Type of help. Unrecognized help. It's quite interesting. A single dash, dash help. For that version, a single dash version. So we can type Java dash version. Now you see uh, this uh, one is JDK 8. And for the next task, We already download this one and uh, install it to the JDK, open JDK 
for this uh, bulk extractor. Inside here, we need to find this uh, Windows installation. Here, you download this Windows installation and install it. You will get a bug extract 32 and a bug extract 64. I will then install it. I can check my machine to the bug extract here 1.1. Then go to its home, home folder. Yeah. Oops. And go to his target folder. Open file location. There's a B viewer with a bug extractor. If you double click, it will not run. So we need to find the where we install it. When you check my local disk, it's installed and here. Bug extractor. Here we have a 64 bit, but that one, when you go inside, you'll see that the B will only one kilobyte. It looks like it's a corrupted. This is a command line version. You may run this command version in a command window. Just right click here and open PowerShell windows here. Then you can run that block extractor.exe. Here I see the, the help, not a light like this. Dash H. Okay, this how do you use this uh, bulk extractor? You can check its documentation. Or we'll follow, uh, follow this uh, same class project to run in command line. Here, analyze the RAM image with the bulk extractor. But it's uh, demonstrated on the Linux and we will do it on the Windows. The syntax is, is identical for this command line tool. So you can use that uh, GUI to complete this lab. Here we specify an output folder, specify a word list, then followed by the image, the map, dump.mem. Here. So what is a word list? You can check here, let's find the word list. The word list here. You see the word and the number of times each word was found. This list is useful for a dictionary when you are cracking encrypted files and folders. So the basic use is quite simple. It's just specify the output folder and the file to save the word list. Then followed by this uh, image, we are going to extract information. And how to run that uh, GUI version, bulk extractor. Here we right click, open a PowerShell window here. Then we can run Java dash Java followed by that be viewer dot job, press enter. Uh, it says invalid, we will uh, dispatch this uh, one kilobyte is not valid. We need to go to use this be viewer.
like this. So go in, like a bulk extract of view, what it looks like. You can go from this tool to run the bulk extractor, and those the result will be shown up in this uh, viewer. So let's uh, close it. To run from a, any place, we need to add, add this folder to the path variable, environment variable. Let's see whether it's there. Here my pass environment variable, you see I've already added here, set to bit, 64 bit. Then I can run this bulk extract command from anywhere on my machine. So we run from our lab 11. Yeah, inside lab 11, now we download those two images. The first image here, there's a RAM image. Let's create a new folder called a RAM. RAMs, MAM dump. Here, this one is MAM dump 2016. Okay, they're all downloaded. Now I extract them here. But let's have a look. It's called memdump.mem. Extract here. The second one extract here, but before that, let's have a look. It was called mem dump dot mem, so it may uh, override this one. So let's uh, give it a new name. Let's rename this one. Mem dump one. Extract here. And this one we will rename it as a mem dump two. Yeah, we have two of them. This is the mem dump one, this is a mem dump two. Rename it as a mem dump two. Okay, now we have these two images, then we can run the command to, to extract those uh, information. Or well, we can use the uh, GUI, it's up to here, I would like to use the uh, command language. Bark extractor dash on the first image, let's output it into a bark one. Dash E, word list, then followed by a mem dump one dot mem. Now it will take some time to complete the extraction.
Okay, now it's uh, completed. You can see the summary of the result. Total email features found. And we can have a look to check this uh, folder, stock one. You can see all the extracted information. AS keys, alerts, CCNs, domains, emails, and so on. So what we are required to find here, find all credit card number beginning with a 3728. So CCN, credit card number is a CCN. And we have CCN histogram track tool. So we can open to see what it is. This is N and search this number. Control F and then we find the next. So this is the first one. Let's see whether we have next one. This is not the beginning as we we are required to find credit card number the beginning with us, 3728. It looks like we have, okay, the next one. We have one, two, but these two, they are the same. These are also the same. So you can go through this one to see, uh, how many you have. Actually, they are counted in this CCN histogram. Here you can see the number the times of these uh, credit card numbers that appeared. Here, Ctrl F, Ctrl V to find it. Here, it appears uh, 20 times. And uh, from this list, we can see uh, this the credit card number started with a three, seven, two, eight, just appeared once. I'll be the first uh, image. You are strongly suggest to check the contents of all other files to have a look. This is the word list. Here all the words extracted from this mem dump one dot mem. But for the second image, you use the same run the same command here. Just change this one to mem two bark two. You can call this uh, suffix for the email. From this first image, you can check the emails here. Email histogram, email domain histogram, and email histogram. Control F, Control V. It cannot find the email address with this domain name. Find any email address with this domain name. So this is for image one, but we can see there are some other domain name here. This is for image one. Uh, we need to wait until image two complete. Here it shows where I find that uh, emails. You can check the box extract uh, menu to decipher this uh, information.
Okay, now it's uh, completed. Let's check that email. Go to Bob tool and those emails. Email domain, histogram, email histogram. Control F, Control V. Okay, we find uh, this uh, contact at wzh.com and it appears twice. Here we also find another one, intact. Okay, two of them. But during the demo, I think I made a mistake when I explained the word list. Here, yeah, this word list. We need to check the help, see what the word list it is. It's not the file we used to save the structured words. Okay, extractor and type help to have a look about the word list. The scanner is enabled by default, which means that a word list here the enable scanner word list. So what are the scanners? Which means what we are going to find, what we are looking for. Here, the scanner is enabled by default and disabled with a dash x. These are the scanners. Email, exif, find, GPS, zip, and so on. So I suggest you check its uh, documentation to get more details. Now we have those results. We can uh, view this result with that B viewer. We know that B viewer is under the installation folder here. This is the B viewer. We need to run it. And just see, let's just run from here to have a look. Java dash job viewer dot job. Here we can open a report for browsing. Report file. Arc one, we have the pot opened. Here, use pairs for the report man dump one. This is not right because it's not at this place. So we need to select a custom uh, pairs. to the image. Okay, now you see uh, all the results here. When you double click, you can see the, the list here as you can. Here are the all txt files, so you can use any text editor to open them, have a look. Uh, this is the bulk extract view used to uh, view the result, the extracted information. 
Okay, that's it. We complete our labs.